In a world where technology is constantly expanding, we're being exposed to ads more than ever. Large corporations bombard the public telling us what to wear, what to look like, what to eat, essentially how to live our lives. The majority of these advertisements use women as the face of their products. The women represented in these ads are looked upon as sexual objects, the eye candy of the actual image. Women are put under great pressure to look beautiful and to be desirable, yet these images are unattainable and extremely photoshopped. I stopped at a few places in New York City and asked numerous people on what they thought of some advertisements, which included Burger King, Dolce & Gabbana, and Colt Shaker Beer Company. I wanted to hear their opinions on how women are portrayed in these images. So, hi Peter, how are you today? I'm very good, thank you. I'm visiting from Scotland today as well. Oh, wow. Um, so, I just have a few ads for you to um, take a look at and, you know, just tell me how you feel after looking at them. Yeah, um, certainly with this one, there's a, a definite sexual connotation there. Um, it looks like the woman's performing a sex act on a burger. <laughs> it look, it's very sexual. It's very blatant. Very provocative. And very you can tell, like, what they were trying to go for. Definitely trying to... to to get my uh, sexual appetite uh, focused on, on Burger King, and uh, it's working. I really am starting to get hungry and horny at the same time. <laughs> Basically, in a lot of ads these days, especially in this one right here, just, uh, women are portrayed as sex symbols, you know? Um, how do you think, you know, the woman audience feel about this ad? Uh, maybe insulted, I would imagine. Yeah, I agree. It looks, uh, the it looks like there's more of an emphasis on the sandwich obviously because of the fact that that's their product but they're also the way the woman's portrayed is almost emotionless like she's focused she's on just, it uh, she's just, just like <laughs> doll, almost yeah. like a doll right yeah, like exactly a sex right. doll You're exactly right the context of this ad how does you know what does that mean to you well it's, it's obviously going along the kind of the old advertising of sex sales um, and that's exactly what they're, what they're trying to do in this one but as I said before, it's, I think it's obviously trying to, to go along, along a humorous line, but again, it's only really going to be males that are going to find that right. funny, whereas females aren't going to find that very funny. I think it's, it, it, yeah, I think it's just trying to talk about <laughs> penis size. <or> <laughs> you know, I don't know, like, it just is so blatant. Uh, well, it's a Dolce & Gabbana ad, so they're always, you know, high fashion, very risque. Um, in this ad, I see that there's a woman being pushed down, it looks like, and a bunch of dudes watching. <laughs> it looks like a gang rape to me. <laughs> That's what it looks like. She's being held down by this guy, and there are four other guys watching. Um, it's really sexual, and she looks kind of passive. Um, she, her legs are exposed, and... Um, yeah, I don't know what they're really trying to say, because I don't know what product they're selling. <laughs> Sort of looks like the men are all like eyeing her in sort of a almost like animalistic way. Uh, I think it's a, another one. I, I like these type of uh, advertisements because I think it captures your attention uh, right I agree. away. It is, attention it is, and look, look, they put the sexiest people on there, sexy guys, sexy girls, doesn't matter. I mean, you're attracted to these type of people, and and then it just slams Dolce Gabbana in your face. Yeah. So you you link the two in your mind, and then. I mean, that's it. So now now when I walk around, I see a Dolce & Gabbana place, I'm going to think, what, sex? Girls? I should buy Dolce & Gabbana. Um, and how do you think women are portrayed? In this? Well, this woman in particular. Um, as an object? I feel like I'm very used to seeing this. It doesn't really upset me necessarily. Um, I guess if you think about it more, it's a little upsetting, but I'm just, it's something you kind of see every day. So it doesn't really, like you know upset me or anger me or make me feel like violated or whatever but um it's a negative portrayal of women for sure um i can tell just by looking at her importance in this shot she's obviously like on the low on the totem pole like they're the way he's handling her arms and the way everyone's just watching it's like they're not doing it it looks like they're just watching him like giving him permission yeah, like we're exactly. watching over him there's nothing she can do it or something you know like so here we have another ad, and um, this is a beer ad. Do you personally drink beer? Yes, I do, yes. Yes, I drink beer. So tell me, how do you feel about this ad? Um, again, it's, it's showing a kind of sexual position again. It's trying to be quite um, evocative and things as well, trying to, um, you know, the, the position of the woman over the, the chair as well. But again, I don't think it really has much to do with the ad, to be honest. I don't think it really does much for the actual advert of the beer. 
you know, unless it's kind of trying to say, well, if you get drunk, then you're going to be a sure thing, you know. <laughs> um. Looking at this ad, do you feel like you want to drink this beer? No, I mean, this ad has nothing to do with beer to me. It well, <laughs> fuck her now and apologize later, no matter what she says. How is she portrayed? Like me. Uh, like me. Like and yet it's so sexy at the same time, so what does that say, man? After hearing what the interviewees had to say about advertisements, they just reconfirmed the negative and misrepresentation of women in media. Media activist Jean Kilborn quotes, Ads sell a great deal more than the product. They sell values, images and concepts of success and worth, love and sexuality, popularity and normalcy. They tell us who we are and who we should be. Sometimes they sell addictions. End quote. Take another look at the Burger King ad. Why is there a girl's head with her mouth open? Was it really necessary for that placement? If we decide to take her face off the ad, does that make the burger look less delicious? The Dolce & Gabbana ad clearly did not need five guys staring and pushing down one woman in order to show off their clothes, or do we even pay attention to what they were wearing? What kind of images are we sending out to the mass audience, especially towards women? We are tired of looking at the distorted images everywhere. Show us something real.